already use plenty of Google apps. After all, Android is a Google product and your phone almost certainly came with lots of pre-installed Google apps like Google Maps, Chrome, Gmail, etc. Honestly, you may think you have too many Google apps, but you are wrong. Google developed lots of apps beyond what come with your phone. There are many useful single-purpose apps that Google has created for Android that don't get prime-time coverage. And that's exactly why today I'll be showcasing 10 amazing apps by Google that you have never heard of. Excited? So let's get started. So let's start with some new one and Datally is first on our list. This app helps users understand your data usage on an hourly, daily, weekly or monthly basis and get personalized recommendation for how you can save more. Once you turn on the data saver bubble, the app blocks background data usage and track real-time data usage while using each of your apps. With one tap, you can block data if an app data usage gets out of control. Next up we have Photos Scan, which is an extension of Google Photos. It's a scanner app for your old printed photos. The app is really simple to use. You just hold your phone on the top of a photo and move it in the way the app tells you to. The app then scans, combines and enhances the photo. And the end result is surprisingly good. Yes, it won't be as great as a physical scanner or a professional service, but as an app, Photoscan is the best out there. It uses Google's artificial intelligence to calibrate the color and remove clear. Plus, you can automatically back up all the scanned photos directly to Google Photos. Organizing your phone's various files and content can be a very difficult task, and too many files can also affect your device's performance over time. To overcome this, Google recently released an app called FilesCo, which offers suggestions on what files you should delete from your phone. That includes telling you which app have gone unused, how many temporary files you have in your app cache, and which files are taking up the most space. There is also support for offline file transfer with friends who are physically nearby and also have FilesCo installed. The exchange does not eat into any mobile data. The file sharing transfer occurs over a secured hotspot similarly to what we have already seen in apps like ShareIt. Next up we have the most underrated app from Google which is called Snapseed. Google acquired Snapseed in 2012 back when it was only available for iOS and desktop platforms. It has since bought the app over into the Android realm where it now provides a strong touch base interface for cropping, tuning, transforming and applying unique filters to your images. Snapseed is quite possibly the best photo editing app for Android and while some of its features have been added into the Google Photos, it's a much more robust option for tweaking the looks of your smartphone photography. If you have ever had the need to create an interactive map of any kind, My Maps is indispensable. Whether you are planning a vacation, plotting the best route or keep tracking of apartments for rent, you can do it all with this useful app. You start by creating a new map and giving it a name. From here, you can add markers for a specific location, draw lines or plot a route and each point on your map can be given a name and description. The same service can be accessed on the web if you prefer using a mouse and each of the maps you create can be shared with other Google users. Next up we have YouTube Go which is basically customized for developing countries. The app is designed to be offline first and improve the experience of watching videos on a slower network. Users can download the video to phone or SD card to watch it later and can transfer these videos with friends nearby without any data transfer cost. If you are a regular YouTube browser, you would know how it feels when the steamed video does not match its thumbnail or the description. For these kind of issues, the YouTube Go app lets you watch a full preview of the video when you tap on a thumbnail, giving you a better sense of what the video is about before you decided to fully stream it. After YouTube Go and Files Go, Google has released another Go app called Google Go on the Play Store. It belongs to the new set of light apps made by Google for the recently announced Android Go Edition OS, a more optimized version of Android Audio for entry-level smartphones. The new app is free to download and is the lighter version of official Google Search app. Instead of the news feed, it shows icons of Google services such as Search, Voice Search, YouTube, Translate and Maps on the home page, followed by your favorite apps. The latter clubs all popular apps into categories such as entertainment, social, sports, news, shopping and banking and most of these apps work within it. So a user won't have to download the app separately on their smartphone. 
long pressing on the app icon will add them to the favorite section in the page. The first thing you do when you are planning a trip is to Google for flights, directions, places to stay, things to do, etc. The Google Trip app lets you do all this in a single app and in a better way. All your trip organization is saved in a one app and the information is downloadable offline as well. You can view nearby attractions, plan your days on a map, discover things to do and more. The automatic trip organization feature takes information from your email account and present the information in the app in a visual way. Google Rewards is a really simple app. You take some survey, fill out some forms, share your opinion and in return you get Google Play credits that you can use to buy apps, games, movies and more. It's a good way to earn a dollar or two while you're watching TV. The last app on our list is the wallpaper app from Google. If you like those satellite wallpapers on the Pixel phones, then you will also like the Google's wallpaper app. The app brings a collection of wallpapers ranging from art to textures. But the most exciting collection is Earth. You will find dozens of cool top-down satellite images of our humble planet and you can turn on the daily wallpaper feature to switch between them automatically. So guys that's it for this video. Were you aware of any of these lesser known Google apps or is the whole list new to you? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you are new to this channel then do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.